Hi, I am Carrie Luke. I am a rep for SCA Cookoffs. My husband Brian is down here doing the steak selection right now. SCA is was founded uh, by two fellows from te uh, Texas in I think 2011, and this game just gets bigger and bigger every year. This year, I think SCA, we have about 300 contests lined up. Um, we are in Warsaw, Indiana tonight. We have 41, actually 42 now. We just got another cooker. 42 cooks tonight. They are picking their steaks right now. Each team gets two steaks. They go back to their cooking area. They take their steaks. They will turn one in for the judging. We will have 15 judges uh, judging the stakes tonight. Whoever wins tonight is going to win $1,000. Um, they're paying five places on down, but the, the number one winner tonight is going to be a $1,000 winner. And they also will win a chance to go to the World Steak Cook-Off, which is in Fort Worth, Texas in October. That's a huge cook-off. What it consists of is every uh, contest, so over 300, that the first place winner will be cooking against one another for a $10,000 purse. So we're excited to be here in Warsaw. This is their first year for a state contest. It sounds like we'll be coming back. Um, we have a great organizers and it's going to be a fun night. Hi everybody, my name is Chad Stevens. I have a local business, American Outdoor Barbecue and More. We're hosting a SCA competition this weekend. We are trying to get the community involved. Um, all the extra proceeds we get from this competition will we be donating to the fairgrounds so they can use it as needed here for the local community. We're always looking for new sponsors and help to try to put this all together. We had a lot of great sponsors this year, but we obviously need a lot more to help offset the cost of just hosting this event and putting the money towards a good cause. So if this is something you're interested in, please give us a buzz and we'd love to have you. Thank you. Email. Oh, my email is chat at AmericanOutdoorUSA.com. And we have a website, www.americanoutdoorusa.com. Hi, my name is Kevin Harris. I'm uh, with Rock and Barbecue here in Warsaw, Indiana. This is our first, or this is our fifth event here uh, at this fairgrounds for this uh, for the barbecue. This year we added a, a SCA steak contest, but we're really happy with the results. Uh, we have a lot of participation uh, through five different states, I believe, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky. Uh, we actually, this year, we have a contestant that came all the way from Ottawa, Canada. Uh, we have a contestant that came from Kansas City. So we're excited that our event is growing. Uh, this is the, like I said, this is the fifth year, and this is our biggest year. Uh, so every year we've got a little bit bigger. Uh, we have a lot of amenities for our, our KCBS cookers, and, uh, and they seem to enjoy coming here. Uh, as you can see, it's a beautiful fairgrounds. Uh, we overlook a, a lake, uh, Winona Lake. We're here in Warsaw, Indiana. Uh, there's a, it's a skiing lake, it's a fishing lake, uh, and there's a lot of activity here in the summertime. And we just have a lot of fun out here at the fairgrounds. Uh, we've been here since 1949 at this location. Uh, we've had, uh, as you can see, we have a racetrack behind us. We've had uh, uh, sprint car racing down there since 19 uh, since 1954, I believe. And uh, right now the uh, the racing has stopped. But uh, we still have track events. Uh, I believe this year at the fairgrounds we're going to have a demolition derby, but the cars, instead of running into each other, are going to run into a giant soccer ball. They're going to play a big game of soccer. Uh, we have a four, This is a 4-H fairground, so we do a lot with the 4-H community. Uh, there are a lot of kids involved here during the fair. Uh, there's a lot of kids involved here year-round. We have a lot of activities. The KCBS uh, contest and the SCA contest are helping pay for a lot of the day-to-day -day operations of our fairgrounds. Our donations are down this year. I'm sure they're down every. Uh, I'm sure they're down in other places, uh, but we count on this uh, event to help uh, keep our fairgrounds going. We count on the racing to keep our fairgrounds going. But like I said, right now we're we're not racing here. Hopefully, we can get the the racing going shortly. Um, my name is Kevin Harris. Fairgrounds website? Uh, the Fairgrounds website here is uh, kcfair.org. Uh, and you can go on that or you can go on uh, Warsaw Community Fairgrounds. We have a Facebook page. Uh, and friend us and we'll friend you back because uh, we'd, like we'd like for everybody in the community to enjoy our fairgrounds. 
uh, through some activity, some event that we put on here. Thank you. We actually had some really good chicken today. Uh, it was very nice. Yep, very nice chicken today. I really liked it. The first piece actually had a very nice appearance to it, uh, very good texture to it. The taste was pretty okay on it. Um, on number two, actually, I liked the taste a little better. It was, again, beautiful appearance, looked great in the box, very tender, really nice. The third one um, didn't look as good in the box. A piece of little one even wasn't taken care of as well as some of the other ones. Um, it was a, the cook wasn't quite perfect on it. A season wasn't quite there. I had a similar problem with number four. I think it was overcooked. I think it was a little dry. Um, while it looked nice, I think it was a little dry uh, when it was done. Uh, last one, the fifth one, I, I liked. Again, you know, in the box it looked really nice. Good form pieces. Beautiful looking uh, piece of chicken. Uh, Tenderness was dead on and a really nice flavor to it. All right, piece number one, um, I really, um, they did a nice job in the box. Um, it was a little lighter than I usually like, um, but again, it was so well taken care of that I thought that looked great. Um, the tenderness was spot on. It was it was really great. The flavor to me was uh, overly bland, um, and I didn't get some of that, that real real nice chickeny flavor if you can call it that um so that was my problem my uh so that had a little bit of an issue for Fimi for one for number two also again looked beautiful in the box it was well taken care of uh, again very nice and tender um again with two there was some unevenness in the seasoning um so the top had a nice bit of seasoning but the sides um were not as well taken care of and so it was irregular in the taste number three um i really enjoyed the um um, a little of the seasoning, unfortunately, uh, it was overcooked. Um, in the box, it was irregular, um, and I guess, uh, and I would have liked a little stronger seasoning because, again, I felt it, it it was a little overly cautious. Uh, number four uh, was overcooked, um, but it looked beautiful in the box, um, and it was probably my sec second second uh, to favorite in the flavoring. Uh, again, I think they could have been a little a little stronger in it. It was a little a little timid. Uh, number uh, five um, was very nicely taken care of in the box. The color is a little, looked a little um, slightly unappetizing, but again, they took a lot of care, so that that helped. Um, the um, doneness was uh, just a little, little slightly overdone, but still pretty darn good. Um, and uh, the flavor was my favorite of all of them. Uh, I think we had five great examples of chicken here. Uh, when I rank them from my favorite to my least favorite, I would have to say my favorite overall would be number five, although I scored that one the lowest for appearance because I thought it was a bit on the dark side. Uh, the flavor really stood out to me. I th thought the chefs found a good balance between sweet and a little bit of spicy, but not uh, too much in either direction. And regarding probably my least favorite, I'd have to rank number four as my least favorite, and uh, it's really driven by the uh, a bit on the dry, tough side due to being overcooked. I <clears throat> I think that two and five are about as good as competition chicken gets, and I did not reduce the score on number five for appearance. Um, I was kind of looking forward to the darkness of it, see what that would taste like. Uh, and then number four, it, it was dry and perhaps a little overcooked. I enjoyed all of the chicken today. Uh, my favorite was number two. I felt like it had the right amount of sauce and it had a really good um, texture taste as well as just um, everything about it was just a really good piece of chicken. Um, again, on number five, the black pepper and taste and the appearance um, 
it was not as uh, as I would prefer, but I felt like it also was a good example of it. Uh, number th four um, was more on the chewy side, and so that's one that um, I didn't feel like um, it would be one that I would uh, I enjoyed as much. Uh, number three had an interesting taste, a uh, little bit more where I could taste the chicken and not really the spices, although I think the attempt may have been some kind of sweet and sour like uh, taste at the end. But overall, I would say number two is my favorite. Um, yeah, I think we have some uh, good examples of chicken. Uh, the first one I thought was a little pale, a little bland. Um, the second one I thought was the best piece on the plate. Uh, had great color, looked good in the box. Uh, not super strong on flavor, but the cook did a lot of attention to keep it moist. Uh, the third piece I thought was a little light in color, didn't care for the taste of the sauce. The fourth one was definitely overcooked uh, in a couple different ways where it fell apart and the skin was really tough. The last one I thought was too dark in the box, uh, but it was cooked very well and uh, had some good flavor. I thought the first one was the best. It didn't fall off the bone. Cooked right, not too sweet. And number five was way too sweet. Tastes like jelly. My best was, was number three. Um, I thought I thought number th three was the best. I thought it was it was the uh, best cooked, and I, I could taste the meat in number three. Uh, five, wait a minute, four and five. I thought were t totally uh, over this over sweet, uh, candied. I, I could not taste the flavor of the meat. Um, I think my worst was uh, number five was definitely very tough um, felt it at first it looked like it had bark so it had a good appearance to it but it ended up being very tough um, and it was overly sweet um, in terms of tenderness and taste I think uh, three and four were the best balance for me um, uh, two also did a very good job uh, overall it was, a, it was a pretty good plate of ribs so it was uh, there were I think there were a lot of positives um, but yeah, I think uh, number two and three really did the best for me. Um, I agree that uh, the fifth one was, uh, well, it kind of fell apart. Uh, flavor was eh. Uh, three and four, I thought, were the better ones of the uh, five. But overall, they were all pretty good except for number five. There seems to be a theme here. Uh, I thought number three was the best of, of the ones that I had. Uh, most of them were all good. Uh, a couple of the uh, one, two, and, and even three to some degree were I think overcooked. They were a little bit soft. Uh, and number five was definitely way too sweet. There was no savory note and there was no pork note. It was just candy. And. In my opinion, number one, a little overcooked. Uh, when you bit into it, all the meat came off the bone. Same for number four. Number five uh, was tough and too sweet. My favorite was number two. It had the perfect balance of sweet and savory. Starting out with my least favorite would probably have to be number three. I found that the color was really unattractive. Um, it's kind of a gray coloring and it was really bland in flavor. Uh, number two had the potential to do really well. Unfortunately, they put the medallion in the box. It was overcooked. Uh, but my favorite of all was number four. I thought the uh, the cook looked, was confident putting three cuts in and he did very well with all three. I don't even I don't even know where to start. The flavor profiles were all over and they varied from sample to sample within the within the pieces. And the consistency, some of them were really dry and with the same piece it would be really mushy. It, they just seemed to be all over. Uh, so I have to say my favorite would be number four. Number four had a lot of flavor and um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, and my least favorite would have to be number five, uh, the pulled pork. It looked bad and when I tasted it, it's just it was not agreeing with me at all and uh, just was not a fan of it. On mine, uh, number three was my least favorite. Uh, the cook 
actually put too much product in his box and he cooked from multiple pieces and one of them was really dry he should have kept it out and my favorite actually was number five uh, I did not expect much flavor in the shredded pork but uh, I did get some good flavor and the medallion was uh, was real good number five was uh, my most favorite it had nice appearance it was moist it had good smoke and a good uh, flavor profile. Number two was uh, very tough. It was not my favorite. And it also had an off flavor as well as being uh, dry. Okay, the first entry would be my favorite among the entries. I thought it was nice and tender. It had a good flavor profile, decent mouthfeel. The second entry was a little chewy. Uh, not quite as much flavor. The third entry was uh, less than tender and lacked flavor. Okay. And then uh, skipping past the next entry, the next entry was really good. But uh, in the last entry, uh, good flavor profile. It was tender and uh, I thought it was pretty good. Okay. The first entry would have been, I think, the best one out of the bunch. Um, I agree. I think number one was my favorite. Number two, the burnt in, you literally, I couldn't get a bite of it. Um, three was pretty dry. Four was, um, I'm sorry, yeah, four was average. And five was, um, was a close second as being my favorite. It had really good flavor and moisture. I thought number one was good. Number two, the burn end was like eating a rubber ball. Um, number three was a bit dry and tough. Uh, four was average and for me number number five was perfect. The only thing that could make that better was maybe a little spice. Um. Number one was good. Number two was very tough. Number three was on the dry side. Number four and number five were very good as well. Number five would have to be my favorite. Number one really surprised me from appearance because it was good. Uh, number two was extremely tough and chewy. Number three was more to the dry side. Number four, it was good. It was well above average. But number five was exquisite. They did a really nice job on number five.